Anglican Girls Grammar School, located in Gudu, Abuja, has held its 17th graduation and award ceremony for the class of 2023 with the theme, Keep Reaching for Your Star, held at St. Matthias House Conference Hall. The graduation ceremony was held for the SS3 and the SS3 students. It was attended by parents, students, teachers, diocesan officials and others. It gives me delight that the vision of the diocese to raise young girls into becoming future academic giants and spiritual workforce for God is being maintained in the diocese of Abuja and especially the Anglican Girls Grammar School. We want to congratulate the graduates and more so their parents for the confidence reposed in the diocese for bringing your children to us to train for you. Our prayer is that some of you will be ministers, some of you will be head of state, some of you will be governors. Amen. We pray that your timely death will not locate any of you. I want to encourage you in doing all these things, do not cut corners. Excellence and hard work still pays. Did you hear me? Stand on your feet and say, in AGGS, this was not what we were taught. I will not do it that way. I'm going to stand my ground, and at the appointed time, the Lord will lift you up. Some of the activities featured during the ceremony were a cultural display, poem rendition, and launching of the yearbook, amongst others. I would like to take in a very special way our wonderful but outgoing principal, Mrs. Excel Ubazi Gozibo, who always portrayed the image of a highly disciplined personality, yet so kind and humble. Our grandmothers do not like their sons to marry girls with muscles that look like cassava in their arms and legs. But in Australia, we were seeing black girls giving a good example to the so-called Aboriginal women and men that their African ancestors are telling them to rise. Giant sent us over the fence to fetch them prey. And those little moments out, we tried to run away, but somehow, somehow our feet tracked us back. Lord, we lift up these new ones into your mighty hands, O oh God. Father, they are transiting into SS1. All of them we miss with in Jesus' name. During an interview with Mwane Ogechuku, the principal, vice principal, and others spoke about the event. What we expect from them is the very best because everything we have taught them isn't just about gaining knowledge and accumulating it, but it's about going out there and making a difference in the world. We thank God. It's a time to be happy and to thank God for how far he has led us. We thank God for the success of the girls in the academics, not just academics, the moral and otherwise. Academically, socially, morally, we have given them the best. They should uphold this that we have taught them. They should go out there as an ambassador of Anglican Girls Grammar School. I feel very happy, very proud. I won some prizes. I feel accomplished for spending six years. I'm finally being done, so I'm very happy today. Having gotten a very great foundation morally, academically, and other aspects in this school, as they go higher in their learning, my prayer is that whatever they have gotten in this place will always speak for them. They will always excel and they will always be the best wherever they are found. AGG is still the best. They stand out. The moral value they are teaching them is wonderful. Even their feeding, their feeding is top notch. It's an exciting and a very wonderful event. I'm very happy for my daughters who are Two of them are part of the celebration. One is graduating, the other one is transiting. What I like in the school is the standard of morals they have in their school. The academic standard is very good. And the teachers are trying. The school management, they are also trying. So I'm so happy to be part of this set of uh, people that are graduating their students today. 